back in Canterlot City. I had just woken up from quite the first few times of sleeping in the same room as Princess Luna as it has only been a few weeks since we'd gotten married when I think as I notice my newly wedded wife isn't well in bed when I woke up at sunrise to see her like usual. This that was a great sleep, huh? Where's Lulu? I look around the room to find a breakfast on a tray on the nightstand with a note that has Princess Luna's signature handwriting on it. I go over and read it while having breakfast in bed. I assume she's an okay to which it reads. Good morning, Jericho. Sorry I couldn't be up to see you, but I have a very busy day. My sister surprised me with the task of being in charge of all of Equestria for a month. Yeah, you're probably having the same reaction I had, being totally shocked. Turns out she won a tropical vacation. She's taking Classel along with her, so it's just you and me in the palace until Fluttershy's bunny comes back with a way to get into the Serpent Palace without getting caught. Please enjoy your morning while I try to handle all of this work. Love you, Lulu. I had finished my breakfast right before I'd finished reading the note before saying as I raised my eyebrows at all of this. Lulu stuck in charge of a whole kingdom for a month? Uh-oh. Princess Luna was in the middle of holding court when she says as I teleport between her and a big mouth noble. Now see here. Eep. Jericho, what are you doing? I left a note explaining everything, Anne. Yeah, yeah, you wanted me to take it easy, I say, with a roll of my eyes, before freezing time around us both for a second. Look, I was told about your little adventure where you had to do this for only 24 hours, and now you've got to do this for a month? Do you seriously think you can handle this alone? Uh, yes. Okay, no, said Princess Luna. But she quickly takes back her statement after I raise an eyebrow. I've been up since a few hours before dawn, thanks to my sister having put up with both meetings and my dreamscape work. I barely survived being her for a day. I don't think I can do a month. Yeah, I thought so, I'd say, before looking to one of the piles of scrolls at the foot of Princess Luna's throne. I'm guessing that's a schedule she has for you for a full month. Uh, yes, why do you? Hey, went Princess Luna as I tried to take half of the pile of scrolls. What do you think you're doing? Co-ruling with you, I say with a sweet smile. I'm here to help, and this isn't the first time I had to be in charge of something big. I was in charge of my parents' huge organization after they passed away before coming here. I had to work alone, but I knew how to work with others, and you're used to co ruling so this works we just share half of the workload i'll do one half and you do the rest and don't bother arguing with me this is one argument you're not about to win <laughs> okay you win giggled princess luna who quickly got over it and was also thinking this would be great practice for when they rule together i guess i could use the help I end the spell and turn to the line of nobles as I sit down on my own throne. I create it out of thin air. All right, change of plans until Princess Celestia returns. Both me and Luna are going to have to deal with all of your hassles.